Today, let's compare the two best brokerages to use to invest for your TFSA and your RRSP. Hello and welcome back to my channel where we talk about investing, personal finance, and dividends. If you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button if you enjoy this type of video. Let's get started. My two favorite online brokerages are Wall Simple Trade and Quest Trade. Let's compare these two and see how good they are in each category. How easy it is to get started. Getting started with Questrade requires you to have a minimum deposit or you have to deal with inactivity fees, which can be negated if you have over $1,000 invested or you deposit $150 every quarter, which is every three months, or if you buy or sell a stock or an ETF every quarter, or if you're under the age of 25. The inactivity fees is $24.95 every quarter. Well, Simple Trade does not require you to have a minimum deposit and it has no account fees. You can literally put in $10 and start investing. Well, Simple Trade wins here because financially speaking, you don't need that much capital to start investing with Well, Simple Trade. Next up, what fees do you have to pay? Well, Simple Trade is the first investment brokerage in Canada that provides commission free trades. It's absolutely free and you're not required to pay any commission fees when you trade in the TSX, which is awesome. Whereas Quest Trade, buying and selling a stock or an ETF, they charge you $4.95 minimum and it increases by a cent depending on how many shares you buy up to a maximum of $9.95. With an exception, you don't have to pay commission fees when you're buying an ETF, but when it comes to selling the ETF, you have to pay the minimum $4.95 and a maximum of $9.95. No doubt, Well Simple Trade wins in terms of fees. You can't be free. <laughs> Next up, types of accounts and investments. Well, Simple Trade offers the basic ones like the TFSA, the RRSP, and a personal account, while Quest Trade offers many different types of accounts like the TFSA, the RRSP, the RESP, the LIRA, the margin account, and a corporate account. So, Well, Simple Trade is decent and it offers the basic types, but Quest Trade offers more unique types of accounts. So, Quest Trade wins here. For investment types, Well Simple Trade only has select stocks and ETFs. They don't have everything, but they have most of the Canadian and US stocks and ETFs. But with Quest Trade, they offer the most common types of investments like stocks and ETFs, but they also offer more, like FX, which is investing in currencies. If you think a certain currency is gonna go up, you can invest in that currency. IPOs, which stands for Initial Public Offering, which is the company's first time providing an opportunity for people like you and me to invest in their company and raise capital to grow their company. Bonds, which are like lending money to someone and a promise that they'll return you the principal amount along with some interest on a set date. GICs, which is similar to bonds but are safer because they guarantee the principal amount and a fixed interest rate. Mutual funds, which is where we give our money to someone to manage it for us for a set management fee. The person who manages this is called a fund manager. They also receive money from other people and they invest all of our money. From the returns received from the investments, we all get a percentage depending on how much we contributed. Precious metals, you can invest in silver and gold. And finally, options trading, which is a contract to buy or sell a stock at a certain price. Same as account types. Well, Simple Trade offers us the basic ones, but Quest Trade wins here because of the sheer amount of different types of investments that they offer. Next category, how accessible is the brokerage and what features does it offer? Quest Trade can be accessed on multiple different devices like your phone and your computer. Well, Simple Trade, you can only access on your phone right now. They do have a desktop application that's in beta testing, and I know some people already have access to it. I'm still waiting on my access to it. They'll eventually roll it out to everyone. Their app is beautifully designed, very minimalistic, and only provides you required information. For this right now, Quest Trade is winning because you can access it on your phone and your desktop, but Well Simple Trade is right around the corner for their desktop application, so after that, they should be on the same level. Now for features and analysis data available on these platforms. The data analysis on the Well Simple Trade app is not as great as it only provides you basic information and the information is delayed by 15 minutes. Compared to Quest Trade, where it's updated in real time and it provides a lot more than basic information. It shows you all the news related to that stock on the same page and it lets you look through data more than five years. It has a separate research component which allows you to look at even more detailed financial numbers and reports. 
I use Questrade as part of my research tool when looking at a new stock and buying it in my TFSA account with Well Simple Trade. Questrade wins here as they have a lot more features and they're easily accessible compared to Well Simple Trade. Well Simple Trade is improving and implementing all these newer features, but Questrade has most of them already. Next up, how hard is it to contact them? Questrade has a chat system where you hit a button and you get put on a waiting queue and someone will contact you on a live chat and answer all your questions for you. They also have a call line and an email system. They're very reliable with giving us an answer in a short amount of time. Compared to Wellsimple Trade, they don't have a chat system, so you have to rely on the call and the email systems. Questrade also wins here because their customer support is great compared to Wellsimple Trade. Questrade is really good at a lot of these things, but when it comes to fees, nothing can beat free that Wellsimple Trade offers. I currently use both of these investment brokerages. In the future, if Wellsimple Trade allows you to hold US dollars, I might consider completely switching over to Wellsimple Trade. And in the future, if Questrade offers us commission free trades, I might consider switching completely to Questrade. I use both of them on a regular basis. I use Wellsimple Trade for my TFSA because you only want to hold Canadian stocks and ETFs to gain maximum benefits on your TFSA account. In your TFSA, if you invest in foreign markets either by purchasing individual foreign stocks or an ETF that contain foreign stocks, you will have to pay foreign withholding tax on the dividends received from those stocks. For US specifically, the foreign withholding tax is 15%, so it's not worth in investing in foreign dividend stocks in your TFSA account. With Wellsimple Trade, there's no commission fees when you buy or sell a stock or an ETF, which is awesome. Also, there's no minimum deposit required, so you can start investing with as little as you want, which is absolutely amazing. Because there's no commission fees, you can choose how small or big you want your portfolio to be. Also gives you the freedom of reconstructing your portfolio as many times as you want at any given time, because there's no commission fees attached to buying or selling stocks and ETFs. Be sure you're not day trading in your TFSA. I use Questrade for my RRSP account because it allows me to hold US dollars in my account. So once the money is converted from Canadian dollars to USD, it will stay in USD forever. You can directly buy on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ without incurring any more currency conversion fee. Compared to Wellsimple Trade where they do not allow you to hold USD and it will always be converted back to Canadian dollars. They charge you a currency conversion fee of 1.5% every time you buy a stock or an ETF, every time you receive dividends from that stock or ETF, and when you decide to sell the stock or ETF, they'll charge it one more time. With Questrade, there is a currency conversion fee when you buy US stocks and ETFs with Canadian dollars, but it only gets charged once. Once it's converted, it stays in US dollars. There is a workaround for the currency conversion fee charges called the Norbit Gambit. This is when you buy a stock or an ETF that's traded both in the Canadian market and the US market. So you buy on the TSX using Canadian dollars and you ask your brokerage to journal over the shares to the New York Stock Exchange, which basically means they give you the same amount of shares in that stock exchange. So once it's in the New York Stock Exchange, you can sell it and you'll receive your money back in USD. And you didn't have to pay any currency conversion fee. You do have to pay commission fees, which is typically lower compared to currency conversion fee, depending on how much money that you're converting. If you're doing this in your Questrade account, you should do Norbit Gambit with an ETF because you're only charged commission fees once when you sell you're not charged commission fees when you buy the ETF. In your RRSP account, you do not have to pay foreign withholding tax because of something called tax treaties, which ensures that we're not taxed twice. You can choose to invest in foreign markets using your RRSP to gain maximum benefits and vast diversification. I would suggest holding some solid US dividend stocks or an ETF that comprises of the US S&P 500 stocks. While Simple Trade did mention that they're getting more different types of investment accounts in the future, they're improving their phone app, they have a beta testing going on for their desktop application, which they should be releasing soon. I'm really excited to see how they'll do in the future. There are multiple commission-free brokers in the US, but Wellsimple Trade is our first commission-free brokerage. It's absolutely incredible. I wonder if other brokerages are gonna start competing with the prices and offer us commission-free trading in the future. Overall, the best brokerage really depends on what type of investment account you wanna trade with. If you wanna start trading with your TFSA account, Hands down, Wellsimple Trade is the best brokerage right now. 
It offers commission-free trading, which is incredible. If you want to trade with RRSB account, Questrade is the best brokerage right now. It allows you to hold US dollars and it has lower commission fees compared to other brokerages. As always, make your money work for you, not the other way around. You could check out Wellsimple Trade and start investing today. I have another video that walks through to the setup. I'll leave the referral link in the description box below. If you use that link to sign up, fund your account $100 and buy some stonks with that, you'll receive $10 and I'll receive $10 as well. Let's take personal finance into our own hands and make our money work for us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Bye!